uh, leafy green system, which you probably saw in the last video. And you probably saw an Instagram photo that my uh, all my lettuce sprouts are coming up, so I'm getting ready to put them in here. First the thing to do in the reservoir is I took it outside and rinsed it off pretty well. Now I'm filling it with water. I use water for my top off system, which I'll show you in another video, but um, it's about 150 gallons of water that I have ready to go. So it's already degassed all the chlorine up in the water. And this is a top off system that normally connects up to the float valves to keep the water level up. But uh, it's easier than carrying buckets in here of water and uh, you don't want to use the hose. So after it fills up, we'll go ahead and uh, get our nutrients and pH level going and show you that up, coming up once it's filled. We're all filled up with the water now. I got the uh, air stone here going. And I actually have the pump laying on its side and disconnected to help me mix it up. If I had it standing upright, it would be shooting water straight out. It's I don't know which pump it is, but it's pretty good. For the leafy green system, I pretty much just use this. There's no uh, fruit stage, so I can stay with this uh, nutrient through its whole cycle. But what I do is, it talks about here in the back, uh, nearing the seedling stage, to start off with about eight milliliters per gallon of water. And then in the next stage, when it's a little bit bigger, vegetative stage go to uh, 10 milliliters per gallon of water and up to even 15 milliliters of water per gallon of water sorry so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix that in here this little handy dandy mixing cup shows uh, milliliters and what we're gonna do is uh, do 160 milliliters because I have a 20 gallons in the tank and the uh, Reservoir looks tasty. I read it has a uh, seabird guano in it, and we all know what that means. So we got 160 milliliters there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Rinse this out a little bit, and I also add in some uh, cow mag because uh, most nutrients are a little deficient in magnesium and calcium. And this is about a teaspoon per gallon. I fudge it a little bit. A teaspoon here. Looks like we need to get some more of this. So we're going to put about, not plus 20 there, 18 to 20. It's one teaspoon per gallon. And that's about it for this. I'm going to let it mix up like this for a while. I probably won't be putting the plants in until tomorrow or the next day. But uh, after this mixes up a little bit, I'll come back and uh, do the pH levels and get adjusted to 6, 6.5. So we'll come back. All right, here we are back again. It's been a couple of hours. I have playing a video game on the iPad so what we're going to do next is be checking our pH level pH is now about 7.5 I actually want it down closer to 6 if I can so what we're going to do is uh, use pH down by general hyponics we're going to use our little dropper and I know it's going to take a lot for 20 gallons to get it down. So, and my dropper is pulling up a lot. Almost out. Probably should just dump some in, but we'll see how that works. Let's do one more and we'll check. down to 6.8. Swirl it around a little bit, make sure. 6.7. So 
So yeah, we can probably use a couple of squirts. I'll give it a couple minutes and then uh, try again and get it all mixed up. A lot between 6 and 6.5 for my lettuces. So we might try a couple more squirts, get it down, 6.4. Still just a couple more. I just let it sit like that overnight, let it keep mixing, and I'll double check the pH tomorrow and then reconnect the pump up like it's supposed to be. And maybe tomorrow evening we'll go ahead and put some lettuce into the uh, rails here. I have lettuce and kale ready to go. So that's it, setting up the reservoir, and uh, I'll get the lid back on, and that will be it for today. I'll do another video later when we work on the squash and I'll just give you a little quick peek at the squash. This is almost, it'll be three weeks tomorrow. Three weeks? Yeah, so we'll probably want to do a check on its reservoir and uh, maybe uh, update it. So until next time.